When you line up in the trenches, you sign up for a street fight, a mixture of mandible mugging that's only mildly mitigated, mainly because a middle-aged man in a medium-sized multicolored shirt manipulated a monotone melody to signify the stoppage of play. But the Mankato Mauler doesn't worry. He's in it for the long haul, ready to put his hand back in the dirt and mangle your face once and for all. We're talking about Chris Shout, defensive end of Minnesota State, and this is his small college spotlight. Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you a 2014 NFL Draft Special. We're taking a look at defensive end Chris Short from Minnesota State in our small school spotlight video. So let's go inside the film room and take a look at the coaches tape to see why Short is one of the best defensive line prospects in this year's draft. Football is a power game, and Chris Schaut displays good power versus the right tackle of the University of Mary for the sack. Now, it starts with great ball get off, which forces the offensive tackle to get off balance. Look at his feet. That's a no-win situation for him right now, and now that Schaut knows that he has the leverage advantage, he's able to punch his inside shoulder, moving him off the spot, and make a beeline to the quarterback for the sack. And you can tell a guy like Shout has been well coached throughout the course of his collegiate career as you're taught to use a guy's body against him. He got him going one way and using power and leverage to keep him going that way, which results in a sack. Defensive ends have to be able to pursue. Can you play laterally as well as you can play vertically? And you can see right here versus Valdosta State, Shout does a great job in playing assignment sound versus the read option and displaying excellent pursuit skills in chasing down a running back from the backside for no gain. As you can see from the end zone cam, Shout knows his responsibility is quarterback to running back so he doesn't have to worry about the wide receiver on a jet sweep motion. The quarterback gives the football, Shout makes a play on the running back. Now here's another example again of playing assignment sound, great ball get off, and accelerating to the ball carrier forcing a fumble. This is a classic example of playing fast and coaches always say when you play fast, good things happen for your football team. At some point in time in your athletic career, your raw talent and athleticism will start to fade and you'll have to start relying on technique. And this is particularly true for offensive and defensive linemen. Now, like what I see from Shout technique-wise. Now, here versus St. Cloud State, you can see Shout executed textbook push, club, and swim move to beat the right tackle for the sack. Now, let's take a look at it again. Right here, let's stop it. Shout is able to win the hands battle by getting his hands on the offensive tackle first. And winning the hands battle is 85% of the fight. Now he's able to get a good club with that left hand to swim over with the right and accelerate to the quarterback. And here later on in the same game, Shout execute a perfect rip under for the sack. Now from the end zone cam, you get a better illustration. Now once again, we're going to freeze it right here. Hands first to keep a good distance between he and the offensive tackle, then rip under, showing good knee bend and ankle flexion to close in on the quarterback for another sack in this ball game. Be an athlete is what coaches always preach. The more you can do athletically, the better value you bring to your football team, and it allows defensive coordinators to be much more versatile in what they can do defensively. And here you can see Shout being able to drop back in coverage and make a play on the ball to get the interception. That type of athleticism tells me that one, he's comfortable playing in space, and two, with his hand off the ground, which tells me he has potential as a possible outside backer in a 3-4 defense. Now that you see what the Mankato Mauler can do, you either want to play with him or play against him. The choice is yours, but either way, he's going to be a pretty good football player moving forward at the next level.